ready to try yet another look with the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca Remix palette. I wanted something really easy, um, super fun, and it's also very translatable across many of your favorite neutral palettes that you might already have in your collection. So let's get to it. This look is completely inspired by an old matte quad that came out called the Spice Chocolates. I'll insert a picture of it right here. Like I said, these colors are very translatable across many of your favorite neutral palettes. Um, I'm going to kind of do this in a little bit of a different style than I normally do with my Get Ready With Me's because I'm going to talk about the dupes and I'll kind of quickly um, demo how I applied them to my face. Um, but since it's kind of similar to the look I created before because I'm basing this look very heavily around the shade Rewind, from the Mi Vita Loca Remix palette. A lot of the rest of my makeup has not changed from my previous Get Ready With Me's and it's also using all of the items that I included in my January makeup bag. So I will go on and link that in the card above um, if you are interested in checking that out. And for reference, if you want ideas for other substitutions for eyeshadows that you can bring in from the rest of your collection, I will include them in the description box below so that that information is readily accessible for you. So um, in order to mimic the colors kind of going on in that Spice Chocolate Quad, I really went inspired by because there's a kind of a burnt bronzy orangish red shade the burgundy uh, white and then the um, deep espresso shade um, for the most part i took it in the spirit of i kind of went in more of a cream direction so if you are using the cap one dmv to look a remix palette i went in with the shade molder but we'll talk about some other substitutions so in order to get this um get ready with me started what i did to really give a a uh, bronzy orange base to my eyes as I went through with the Maybelline Waterproof um, Lasting Drama Gel Liner in the shade Striking Copper. And I use that all over my lid. You don't have to do that. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of noticing that my eyeliner in particular is, is starting to dry out. So I figured that would give me a way to be able to enjoy it um, and, and get some more use out of it before I need to just toss it for my collection. And then what I'm doing is I'm following through with an LC brush with the shade Harpsichord from my Mi Vita Loca Remix palette. This color is quite similar to Peanut Brittle if you have the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly palette, or if you want something kind of on the orange vibe, but maybe a little bit more gold, I would go through with Lorac Pro's Gold. That would also be a nice alternative, not quite as orange um, as this shade, but again, along the same lines, once you apply the rest of the shadows, they do look quite similar on the eyes. So that gives you another alternative as well, in addition to Harps Court, if you don't have the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca Remix palette. And then I'm going through with just a really basic neutral brown. In particular, I use the shade Noble from my Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca Remix palette. But if I were going through other shades in my collection, I'd use Naked from the Urban Decay Naked palette or um, Light Taupe from the Lorac Pro palette. Or if you have Light Brown from your Lorac Pro 2, that would be another great alternative. They're slightly darker, a little bit warmer. But again, I'm using it just as kind of a transition shade to tone down Rewind in just a minute and to also minimize the hood of my eyes when all of my eye makeup is on. So it doesn't need to be really glaringly obvious that that's what I have on my eyes. So that gives you another alternative. Then for highlighting, instead of going with a white, I thought it was a little bit stark. Actually, let me give you another option. In terms of um, the uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bar, that's another palette that I really, I loved kind of doing a similar vibe with this look. Milk Chocolate would be a great alternative because Salted Caramel is a little bit too warm um, or gently apply Salted Caramel to your eyes and that would give you another awesome alternative. So, okay, moving back on to the highlighting shade. Molder is what I'm going in with because since this eye look is quite shimmery between Rewind and Harpsichord, I wanted to keep my highlight matte. So I followed through with this matte um, cream shade, but from other palettes, I'm already thinking um, white chocolate from your Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, cream um, from Lorac Pro, Foxy if you're using Urban Decay shadows. Um, I mean, pretty much any brand has it. This has a little bit more of a, a yellow tint to it, but on my skin tone, it definitely goes on quite cream 
um, you don't really notice the yellow. So really, really easy to uh, replicate from the rest of your collection. And then going into the fun, you know, pop of color, I've gone through with the shade Rewind. Um, but again, you've got some other options. If you have the Kat Von D single in the shade Raw Power, um, what I like to do is I stamp it into my outer corner blend it up into that noble shade um, and over the harpsichord to give a really beautiful um, blended effect and I can make it deeper um, if I'm going out at night or wear it a little bit more sheer during the day. But like I mentioned, if you have raw power, that gives you a great alternative. When I pan my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, I loved using Cherry Cordial in place of where I would have used Rewind or if you're using the Lorac Pro palette, um, Garnet would be a really beautiful alternative. So that gives you um, some other suggestions to really kind of get some more use out of those burgundy shades. And again, build them up as strongly as you want or wear them as sheer as you want. And then to go on and line my eyes, I went through at first with my um, MAC liner in the shade Costa Riche um, because this pencil is something that I want to go on and use and enjoy, move out of my collection. It's a really deep espresso shade. And because my eyes are hooded, I went on and set it with the shade Vox from my Medita Loga Remix palette. But Vox, that is such a dupable shade that you can go in many of your neutral palettes. I'm thinking triple fudge from your chocolate bar palette, espresso from your Lorac Pro, or if you have the Lorac Mega Pro. Um, you know, I'm trying to think of what the MAC version is. I mean, you can find a deep matte espresso shade and you are good to go. And then on my lower lash line, this is the kind of look that I love to mix. Um, if I want to wear a navy liner, I've got that option. If I want to wear purple or if I want to wear green, um, if I want to wear, uh, pretty well, I kind of stay with the warmer ones, but I mean, you can go brown, you can go burgundy, you can go purple, you can go navy, you can go teal, tons of different options. Today, I, like I said, I stuck with my January makeup bag items. I've gone through with my Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliner in, um, an amethyst shade, and I'm setting it with the shade Anthem from my Mi Vita Loca Remix palette, which is this beautiful, um, kind of a pinky purple shade. If you have the Urban Decay Blush and Bittersweet, that is a, I mean, dead on dupe for this color, or if you have Max Vibrant Grape. But I also love this look, like I said, pairing it with a navy liner, pairing it with the Deep Forest Green. So if you wanted to go in with the shade Lemmy, um, from your Mi Vita Loca Remix palette, or if you wanted to go through with, um, a teal liner, like when I pan the Justice League panning item challenge, I love, uh, uh, pairing it with the teal for the Aquaman shade that I was going through. So it gives you a ton of options. And then as far as the rest of my face goes, my blush, I'm wearing the Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade Cola Pop. It's just a really pretty burgundy shade. Let me show you right here. Really, really easy. Or you could just go on and translate that Rewind shade and wear it as a blush. That gives you another way to kind of get a little bit more use out of that shadow. And then highlighting, I went through with the shade Lyric to highlight my cheekbones to give me a little bit more of a glow on my skin um, so that everything wouldn't be so like shimmery to matte to, you know, kind of flat looking. So um, if you don't have the Kat Von D Mi Vita Look or Remix palette, the Kat Von D Single and Thunderstruck is a beautiful alternative. And then lips, I'm keeping it really, really easy. I wanted the warm, neutral vibe. I don't want to think about the lip color this month. I just want to pan it and go. And so I've got on my MAC lip liner in the shade Whirl, and I followed it up with my Vibe Beauty Amuse Boosh lipstick in the shade Chai. I love this combination together. So really, really, really easy. And like I said, you can you can translate this look across um, other palettes that are favorites in your collection. If you have the Lorac Mega Pro 3, that's another um, a great alternative, or if you love MAC shadows, you can easily find um, dupes for these shades in your collection and, and be able to rock a really easy wintry smoky eye that has some warmth and some flair to give you just a you know, a, a sophisticated go-to everyday appeal. So that is about it. Thank you so much for giving me a little bit of your time. I hope that you have just as much fun trying out this look. It's super easy to wear to school, wear to work, um, wear running your errands, um, wear for a night out if you want something really just um, neutral, but again, you can amp it up and you can pair false lashes with it. You can wear it with glasses, you can wear it with contacts super, super easy. So I hope that you have just as much fun with it. That about wraps it up for now. I look forward to seeing you for the next one. 
See you later.